This is a Calpads error resolution video for the CERT 140 error. Missing SPED record for a student with a service record or SSRV record. So just a little bit of background before the demonstration. The special ed service SSRV records must have an associated SPED record where the education plan type is 100, 150, or 200, and a meeting type of 10, 15, 20. Basically, only initial or annual meetings for IEPs, ISPs, IFSPs, plan types should have an associated service record. SPED and SSRV records are linked to each other by the Student Special Education Meeting or Amendment Identifier. So what we're going to demonstrate are the steps of resolution. We're first going to identify the student by the list of SSIDs triggering the error. Then we're going to search for the student's SPED and SSRV records by pasting the SSID into the search. We're going to identify the SPED meeting type records that should have corresponding service records. We're going to copy the meeting or amendment ID. We're going to open the find function and then paste the ID in the find. That will allow us to execute a search. All the records with the same ID will be highlighted. So the corresponding services will be highlighted as well as the SPED record with the same meeting ID. We will then delete all the service records that do not correspond with an initial or annual meeting type. Now for the video. So here is the demonstration for how to troubleshoot the CERT 140 error. And because it's a certification error, we're going to look at the certification status. And we're going to select LEA approval using the left navigation. And because I'm using a state level account and I'm not associated to a specific LEA, I have a step that you don't have to do. I am going to select the LEA to demonstrate. OK, so now that we have an LEA, the CERT 140 will trigger during fall one and end of year four. At the time of this demonstration, the snapshots are running for end of year four. So that's what we're going to select to resolve this error. And uh, the submission in the year four. So we click the link and we land on the certification detail screen and we want to look at our errors. So we're gonna look at our fatal errors and I have CERT 140s and CERT 143s. I click show and down below the warnings, a list of students triggering CERT 140s will appear. Okay, so we have these three students and we have the special education meeting or amendment identifier, right? And so the functionality is I can right click any of these SSIDs and open up a new tab so I can view the record in the student detail screen. Prior to that, I want to copy the special education meeting or amendment identifier because uh, this data type, this field, this ID is going to indicate where our discrepancy lies. And how do we know that? We always want to consult the CalPads error list. And so what I have just drug into the screen is the CalPads error list if you're unfamiliar with it. It's an Excel document with several tabs. I can cycle through it by selecting the different tabs at the bottom. So I keep scrolling, right? You see I keep clicking the tabs and end of year four. So a list of all the errors associated with end of year four are here. And to expedite my search, I can just look for CERT 140, there it is. Sometimes you have to scroll because uh, some of the errors are not filterable, but m for the most part they are. So I have the error number, the error name, missing SPED record for a student with the SSRV record. Here's the error description. SSRV records must have an associated SPED record, i.e. same student, LEA, academic year, and student special education meeting or amendment identifier, where the education plan type is 100, 150, or 200, or the meeting type is 10, 15, 20. So just like in the background information, students on active plans, 
I EPs, ISPs, IFSPs have records submitted. And these records uh, coincide with the meeting. These meetings are either initial meetings, 10 or 15, right? Type B or type C. And then your annual meeting for every plan type, there's an annual meeting and that's the 20. So this is when um, the services would be included. Every three years you have a triennial meeting, no services should be attached to those meetings. And so for a lot of you, you're gonna see services attached to triennial meetings. And this is what we have to identify and correct. And so anytime that you're troubleshooting errors in CalPads, you consult the error list and you have fields validated. And this tells you where to look. So you have SSRV at the top. This is your service record. There's three fields you have to look. And then at the bottom, you have SPED. And there are one, two, three, four, five different fields you have to look, right? And you see 15.12 and 14.22 are the same. The Student Special Education Meeting Amendment Identifier is what ties these two records together, right? And so we're gonna use that number to identify the two records we're comparing. And then we're gonna identify if it meets the criteria for which a record should be reported. And so you have understanding the error and then suggested resolution, all right? And so let's look at the suggested resolution. One suggested resolution is verify the student special education meeting or amendment identifier is correct in both the SPED and SSRV records, or that the SSRV meeting identifier maps to the correct meeting type. Meeting type, 10, 15, 20, not 30. Remove the SSRV record if corresponding SPED record based on the meeting identifier is not a valid education plan. So again, we're talking about IEPs, IFSP, and ISPs, right? So you have your different types of eligible but not receiving services, ineligible, or even 300 pending, right? So there's two things you have to understand, right? One, the error list is a resource, but it's not going to tell you every scenario and every method of resolution. You have to know your data. You have to know the student. But this will tell you what to look for, and you have to make sense of it. And so when I say make sense of it, the second thing you have to know is you're expected to be able to analyze the data in CalPads and the data in your special education system and resolve these errors. That is something that you have to accept and be able to do. And so we'll start with the easy one, okay? We'll look at uh, this student here. And before I do anything with this particular error, I'm going to copy our key, right? That special education meeting or amendment identifier. And then I'm going to right click and open in a new tab, the student details in the CalPads ODS. All this data has posted. This is what CalPATS has in the student. We call this the student profile, right? This gives us a view of the student. And so I'm looking for special education. Here we go. And then also services, student special education services. And I'm just going to use the shortcut keys to search, right? I already have on my clipboard, I copied the special education meeting or amendment identifier. So I'm going to press Control and F at the same time. I'm going to paste. I could have shortcut key Control V, right? And so now I have the meeting ID here. And so we can go back, see that meeting ID? It's here. So we've identified that we have a special education record with this meeting ID. And so I want to look at the meeting type code it says 40, right? That's a triennial. Remember, services can only be for type B initial meetings, type C initial meetings, or annual meetings. So I can see instantly by consulting my error list, this is a problem, right? And so let's find out the, if we have a corresponding SSRV record. And we know we do because there's it's one of two. So if I just click the arrow, now I can see that I'm in the services and I can see the corresponding SSRV. This record here should not be linked to a triennial meeting, right? We have two annual meetings that should have the services connected to it. And I believe they will be, but this particular service is connected to a triennial meeting. So 
the simple resolution could be to open the record up and click the delete button. Now, I'm not going to do it because it's not my record to delete. However, that would be a method of resolution. Of course, it's not instant, right? We're talking about a certification error. You have to wait for a new snapshot to process. And then you can go back and see that particular certification error has been resolved. So let's look at another scenario. Let's go back to our certification detail screen. And this one is just a slightly bit more complicated, right? But this is just something to look for. I'm going to resolve this student. So I am copying. Let's close out this other tab. And then I'm going to right click a new tab. If you have multiple monitors, sometimes open a new window is easy for side by side comparisons. But I'm going to open a new tab because we're recording. So CalPads is going pretty fast, which is, I like. And again, the same method. I need to compare the student special education program records to the special education program services records. Okay, I have them both open. And I'm going to shortcut key control F, clear out what I had there, paste in what I have in my clipboard, the new meeting or amendment identifier. And so here, here we go. I can say that I have a special education meeting identifier from my error. So this is the, the record I'm looking at. I can see that it's another triennial evaluation. The problem I think I have is I see one of one. So if this number only comes up once on this screen, how can it be tied to a services record? So this is a nuance of functionality. This is why you need to get in CalPads and you need to practice. You see down here, there's two pages. When I look at my program records, there's a single page, one. 10 records show on the page, All right? Down here, I have two pages, 10 records per page. So let me click the second page, All right? And let's try, oh, okay, that's why. Um, it's not a control F or a find throughout every record in CalPads, it's just what's on the screen. And here I can see I have two records tied to that triennial meeting. And so again, one by one, I would open the record and delete it. Open the second record and then delete it. So you have to be aware of, you know, how many services a student has and you have to know how to operate in CalPads. And for many of you resolving these errors, we know that the special education systems are robust. You have a lot of information, but in particular, there's certification errors. You have to understand how to navigate in CalPads and what CalPads is showing you. And we hope this video will assist you in that, not only with the CERT 140, but additional errors as well. And please submit a service ticket if even after watching this video, you need assistance, or if there's a particular error that you'd like to see a video created for, let us know. And as always, we hope to help you and good luck out there.